Hi, welcome back to Auto Review. My name is Patrick, and today I'm presenting you the 2015 Chevrolet Malibu in the LTZ version, which is the top of the line. Uh, this car comes with a 3 liter uh, petrol V6 engine, uh, producing 260 horsepower and 290 newton meters of torque. Uh, it's a very comfortable car, I have to say. Uh, it's really, really comfortable to drive, it has a lot of space. Uh, especially the boot is really huge, so if you're looking for a family uh, saloon, this is the car to go for. Um, let me go inside and show you all the details and then we go as usual on the road and I explain you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Alright, so what can I tell you about uh, how it feels, the car from inside? Uh, first of all, it's very spacious, uh, you have a lot of space, uh, I sit very comfortably in this car. I always mention the videos, so I mention it again. I'm 184 tall in centimeters and I have plenty of headroom this much and we have the sunroof as well uh, then uh, seats are electrically operated you have memory function in your seat uh, you have as well as an easy entry function which I disabled because I don't like it which is something where the seat goes back uh, so bit bigger people I would say have the uh, possibility to get in the car easier however you will have to wait the rear passengers will have to wait until that person is in a the seat um, then six-speed uh, automatic with manual control uh, that I'm gonna tell you a bit later about it we have this uh, MyLink from Chevrolet. Uh, this one actually works quite well. Uh, I've seen some that do not work very well. Again, with a hidden compartment behind. Uh, however, this one is a little bit, uh, you see it's a little bit loose. I will show you in a video when we drive, uh, which they could improve on. Other than that, um, I really like the seating position. The driving is very comfortable. Um, now let me show you the back. All right, so the Malibu in the back. Um, the seat in the front is adjusted to me, so it's I have enough space. You have a little bit of uh, space uh, made available through the seats uh, for the knees. You can see I it's a bit narrow, I have to say. We have an armrest with a little compartment and two cup holders. However, we cannot open it in the middle to get longer things through here. You can fold that one up as well. Then we have two pockets in the back uh, seats. Uh, we have some space in the doors as well for smaller bottles. The windows, uh, like the operator, handle. Uh, we have AC vents, however, we cannot turn, uh, uh, change the temperature here, so it's a, a, a dual zone AC here. You can just close and open it. And uh, space wise for the hat, uh, it's kind of limited a bit. But again, for finally with two kits, so all the kits, that's great. Uh, one feature I really want to mention is uh, the headrest here, which operates really, really well. It doesn't go up and down, but as well, it inclines to the front so you can make it really comfortable to drive and I love this. This is something very simple but very effective. Let me show you the boot and we hit the road. All right, so the Malibu from the back. Uh, as you can see, we have this double square uh, box designed for the lights and they're actually LED, so they're very responsive, very bright, very fast. I really like that. Uh, Chevrolet on left, Malibu LTZ, as I said, LTZ is the top range edition or top range model. The Chevrolet logo, we have the dual exhaust pipes on the left and right. And uh, within the third brake light, little black button that will open the boot. Either this way or you take the key and on the key, you just hold the boot button and it will open up. As I said, the boot is really, really big. Uh, I always give you my slider, which is approximately a meter. Uh, you can see that fits easy inside here, um, so a lot of space for this, and very easy to load, very wide, I like it. The only problem is it's a bit high, uh, so if you have to load something from very low to high, then we have a little handle on the right, and enough, let's hit the road. Right, so the Malibu with the V6 engine, how does it drive? It doesn't sound bad, uh, but this is not how you drive this car really. Uh, as, a, uh, as I would say, this is a family saloon with a decent sized engine because I believe the 2 liter, that, sorry, the 2.4 liter that's available as well um, would have to struggle a little bit with the size of the car and the weight of the car so I think the uh, 
3 litre V6 is a better option. Um, it's very comfortable, now we have a speed bump. And it just drives over it very, very comfortably, I have to say. Uh, but at the same time, because the car is comfortably set up, you see the car is leaning quite a lot. So this is really very American setup, I would have to say. Uh, really for long cruising, long distance driving, perfect for that. Right, <clears throat> so let's start with a few things that I don't like. Okay, this screen, the hidden compartment is something really, really cool. I like that. However, there's no USB inside, so you cannot put your phone inside to charge it while being there. You have only one USB, which is right there, uh, which is a little bit, well, not really placed uh, smart. Um, then the screen here, you can see it's moving a bit, right? Obviously when it's closed, it's fine, but when it's open, it's not really good. So, six-speed automatic with manual control. However, if you put it in manual, you put it really, really far back. And then how to shift is you don't have pedals at the steering. You have this plus and minus here. And because your arm is so far back, it's not very really comfortable. So, I don't know. But at least you have the option to. You can view your pictures on the USB. So I have my logo now on. Uh, however, you cannot change it during while driving, but once you select a picture, it's gonna stay there. So if you have your wife's picture or your husband's picture or whatever, or your kid's pictures, you can put it on and you have it the whole time there while driving. I really like that. Obviously, this one comes with a GPS, and this one is a touchscreen, uh, as you can see, which is distracting as usual. And here's the navigation. And it works quite well. It has, for example, uh, some communities which other GPS from other manufacturers don't have, but the roundabouts, for example, on an Alkyl Road, Alkyl Road are still there. So it's still not updated properly. The steering wheel is exactly the same like an Opel, GMC and uh, other Chevrolets. The buttons are exactly the same as Opel, for example. The same control unit, so you have information on driving, how far, average fuel consumption, which is, by the way, 14 liters. Uh, 13 to 14 liters. Uh, it is a V6 engine. Then uh, how much the trip, uh, speed. We have a little compartment here um, with the cup holders here. Uh, then here is the USB and a 12 volt uh, glove box. Um, it's decent size, not bad. However, you cannot fit anywhere big bottles in this car. Uh, only small bottles. In the back, uh, the legroom is okay, not super huge. And um, the headroom is as well decent. Uh, boot is big, however you don't have any hooks or anything to just secure their things and that is very limited But it's just a huge boot, uh, which is good. Uh, as you can see the screen is really nice uh, I like it. It is a touch screen Size wise it's not bad either. I kind of like this size. It's not bad at all Then what would I recommend um, with this car? As I said engine choice wise um, go for the V6 because it just has a little bit more punch and uh, not gonna struggle with the power or uh, with the weight of the car. Uh, fuel consumption, yes, it will be a bit higher. Then price-wise, okay, price-wise, this car costs. Uh, it's starting at 84,000 for the 2.4-liter uh, engine, uh, which is actually a really, really competitive price. Compared, you, the competition for this car would be uh, the Safran that I tested already, uh, the Renault Safran, so check out the video there. Uh, in addition to the Safran, it would be the Volkswagen Passat, which is priced pretty similar as well. Uh, you would have the Nissan Maxima, the um, Toyota Camry, so these are all the kind of cars more or less in the same price. This full-spec version now with the V6 engine costs uh, 116,000 or 116,000. Um, which is really not bad. Uh, you have memory functions, you have Xenon lights, you have blind spot warning, and uh, six airbags, so it's a very safe car. It has a V6 engine. I think it's a really competitive price, I have to say. So, a few more things. What I like as well um, is the remote start of the engine. Uh, you can open the boot with the remote as well. When you put the reverse key in, the, both mirrors actually can uh, move down, uh, so you don't hit the side curb, which is really, really nice. Um, however, the camera, uh, even though the camera is good, uh, it doesn't have the line, so it doesn't really show you where, uh, where to go. Um, you have to be a bit more careful with that. 
it has this nice illumination here. Um, if I would put the volume, I don't know if you will see it in this camera. If I put the volume down, it just goes like a left and right, which is nice. I like that. And uh, it has, uh, it, it looks actually really nice. It has daylight driving as well, the LEDs in the front. It has the LEDs in the back, which I like as well. So uh, from a safety point of view, this car is really nice. I like it. Obviously, it doesn't have exactly the same setup like you would have it in Europe. Um, or in, in the US, uh, it has more airbags there, uh, but uh, it's it's good, it's really good. So uh, I think it's a tough choice if it comes to buying a saloon this size, as uh, there's many options available. But the price for this one is, is good, I like it. Uh, I like the design, I like the space, I like how it drives, I like that it's comfortable. And I'm pretty sure um, after a test drive, uh, you will feel the same. Thank you very much uh, to Canon Middle East for providing me the Canon Legera Mini uh, to record this video. As well as uh, thank you Algandi Auto for providing me the Chevrolet. They are located on Sheikh Zayed Road. Uh, please check them out uh, if you're looking for a test drive. And uh, if you like the video, please subscribe my channel. Uh, like it, share it, uh, comment below, ask any questions, check the Facebook site for the pictures, all the detailed pictures of this car, and I'll see you next time. Cheers!